हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाउ इज़ एवरी वन डूइंग आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग फिट एंड फाइन एंड हेल्दी सो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे आई हैव कम अप विद अ न्यू स्टोरी एंड द स्टोरी इज़ फ्रॉम योर सनफ्लावर बुक दैट इज लेसन नंबर एटीन हेडी द स्टोरी इज़ अबाउट अ लिटल गर्ल एंड हर नेम वॉज हेडी शी लिव इन इन अ स्मॉल टाउन नियर माउंटेन्स इन स्विट्जरलैंड विद हर आंट डेट One day, Aunt Dad decided to take Heidi along to meet Heidi's old grandfather, who lived in mountains. So, on the way, they met a small boy, uh, and his name was Peter, who was looking after some mountain goats. Soon, they reached grandfather's house and met him there. Then, Aunt Dad told Heidi. that she had to go to frankfurt for some urgent work so hedy would be staying for a couple of days with her grandfather on the mountains hedy and her grandfather got tense hearing this and grandfather said that he was too old to look after a little girl but aunt date had to go back so she went back then grandfather made a little bed in the hay loft for hedy and also asked peter to give her some goat's milk to drink now as the days passed hedy became friends with peter and she also started looking after the mountain goats and she also found a favorite goat and her name was snowflake she loved the beauty of the mountains trees flowers everything whatever she saw there on the mountains sometimes she also visited uh peter's grandmother who was blind and there after visiting a uh, peter's grandmother she used to tell her about all the scenic beauty she saw on the mountains so one fine day aunt date was back to take heidi along as she was admitted to a new school in frankfurt hearing this grandfather and heidi both became very sad heidi never wanted to go back but she had to aunt date took heidi to stay with her friend who lived in frankfurt there heidi met a small little girl uh, and her name was clara clara was a handicapped girl because she could not walk although heidi liked clara but all the time she used to talk and think about mountains peters peter and her grandfather only So one fine day when Heidi came back from her school Clara told her that the maid had saw some ghost on the staircase last night so Clara also told Heidi that uh, tonight Clara's father would be staying upstairs and he would be finding out the ghost So at night when Clara's father was looking for the ghost he saw Heidi walking on the staircase with closed eyes then only he came to know that there was no ghost in the house in fact it was heidi who was who used to walk in her dreams the next morning doctor was called and heidi was examined by the doctor doctor told clara's father that uh, heidi used to miss uh, all uh, all her mountain memories so that is why she had the habit of walking in her dream Clara's father got very tense and the next day he decided to leave uh, Heidi back to her grandfather's house for some days As soon as Heidi reached back to her grandfather's house Peter and grandfather were very happy to see Heidi back Heidi told Peter how much she missed everything After few days Clara and her father came to meet Heidi and clara's father left clara for some days to stay there and as he had some work to do in the town heidi was pleased uh, to stay with clara but peter was jealous of heidi's new friend so one fine day peter pushed clara's wheelchair down from the mountain when nobody was uh, watching him next day when clara could not find her wheelchair she decided to walk with the help of heidi and grandfather 
Soon Clara was able to stand up and soon she started walking by herself. Peter realized his mistake and said sorry to Clara for his jealous deed. When Clara's father came, he was surprised to see his daughter walking and so that's how Peter, Clara and Heidi became friends forever. So children, this was your story of Heidi. I hope you all liked it. Please read the ch uh, chapter again and again and underline all the dark words. Until then, goodbye.